Russo'sBrand.com, where the pros are the pros. This was sent in by Mark DiPaolo, and it is a Scott Steiner video. A new one? Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. You know, they say that all men are created equal, but you look at me, and you look at Samoa Joe, and you can see that statement is not true. See, normally, if you go on with one, one, one wrestler, with another wrestler, you got a 50-50 chance of winning. But I'm a genetic freak, and I'm not normal. So you got a 25% at best at beating me. Then you add Kurt Angle to the mix. Your chances of winning drastically go down. See, the three-way at sacrifice, you got a 33 and one-third chance of winning. But I got a 66 and two-third chance of winning because Kurt Angle knows he can't beat me, and he's not even gonna try. So Samoa Joe, bro, you take your thirty-third. What? Bro, you, 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 here's here's the problem, <laughs> Jeff. Hear me out for a second. Here, here is the problem <laughs> in a nutshell, bro. Listen, I did Vicious Vincent's World of Wrestling. We did it as characters. We had the Matt Rad. We had Skull Von Cross. We did it as characters. It was a 1,000% Mark show. Bro, we did live shows, and kids loved us. The, 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 it was kids and parents coming to our live shows. Here is the problem. If she is doing that, I've got no problem with that, bro. She's going out. She's spending the money on the costumes. She's doing all this. So if that's the show, if it's I'm going to play along with WWE show and that's the show and that's her fan base, I've got no problem with that. But the problem is, bro, she's Tommy Dreamer's co-host. That vicious Vincent would have never been Tommy Dreamer's co-host. That's the problem. That is the problem. She's interviewing Big Show, bro. That's the problem. If she were just doing this, bro, as a goof and as satire, and I'm going to be all these, these characters, tremendous. But they're letting this in scrums, Jeff. That's the problem, man. Third chance minus my 25% Stop for chance. A second. Bro, so whose fault is it, Jeff? Is it her so is it her <laughs> fault or is it the business for letting her in? Whose fault is it? Seriously. Well, it's the business's fault. She can do whatever the hell she wants. <laughs> Man, it's like seriously, if this was her shtick, no problem, bro. But she should not be on serious radio. And you got an eight and one third chance of winning that sacrifice. But then you take she my seventy five percent, bro. Just, just think about sitting there and writing this whole thing out. She's reading. Well, I, she probably googled it and is reading it. Ah, uh, who, it. who knows, bro? Who knows? <laughs> And chance of winning if we was to go one on one and then at 66 two third percent i got 141 two third chance of winning that sacrifice now can See, you Joe, imagine no like telling the undertaker yeah bro this is the person who's going to interview you <laughs> you go 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 look at her youtube bro that's who you're going to be can you imagine that bro him sitting there she's going to interview me numbers don't lie and they spell disaster for you at sacrifice Oh, Jeff, Jeff, this, this, this is, bro, look at me. This ain't funny no more. <laughs> like, we're we're, getting, we're getting to the well point done. of this not being funny. <laughs> they all think they're part of the act, Jeff. Jeff. Well, that's it. They do. And But the difference is what you just talked about, The Undertaker, Big Show. They're going to look at these people like, are you kidding me? You're putting me in here with this mark. We, we saw Big Show do it when he looked at his watch. Remember when she's asking about Bray Wyatt and shit? But I think a lot of the wrestlers today, that doesn't bother them. When you go to a professional game, do you want to be a part of it? Like, you're there to watch the game. Right. You don't want to be a, a player in the game. Th these people that show up to the events like her and Sap, like, they want to play in the game, bro. And and here's the sad thing. Bro, it's, it's fine to want to play in the game. But when they allow you to play in the game, that's why the business has totally effed itself, bro. They've allowed these people, come play in the game. Come to the scrum. 
Ask us whatever questions you want. Yeah, man, you need tickets? We'll give you tickets. They've let them become part of the game. And now, because of that, it's a freaking joke.